Happy New Year, everyone. Meteorologist Matt Gray getting started for a uh, much calmer week of weather around the inland northwest. We are back in a calm, high pressure pattern, and that means low clouds and fog around the region. Start off with the pretty foggy conditions on Monday, but one good thing about Monday, which is going to be different from other days of the week uh, this week, is that we are going to get a little bit of sun to poke out in the afternoon. So that's going to feel pretty good. We get to colder temperatures on Tuesday because of those clearing skies. I'm looking forward to a little bit of snow late in the week. T uh, temperatures overnight will fall into the low to mid 20s and we will see that fog as we get into the middle of the evening uh, really start to kind of build around the region for areas that it hasn't already. Central Washington especially going to see quite a bit of freezing fog. There's freezing fog advisories down in Yakima and the Tri-Cities and we'll see that spotty patchy fog. Uh, around Spokane and around Coeur d'Alene, so don't be surprised if you end up with a little bit of fog out there in the morning. Temperatures about 23 for Coeur d'Alene, 26 in Spokane, down to the teens in Winthrop. Mostly, though, we're down into the middle and upper 20s. That fog lifts before midday. We'll start to see some of the clouds break up around lunchtime, and then for that brief little window where the sun is up in the afternoon, I do expect uh, that things are going to feel and look pretty nice around here. Temperatures be in the lower and middle 30s. We'll have some flurries come in, some cloudy skies on Tuesday. We'll also see the fog roll back in as well. Another foggy, cloudy day on Wednesday. A system comes in on Thursday. It'll start off as some snow. We'll likely see a little bit of rain at the tail end of this on Thursday afternoon as it comes through. We'll also keep an eye on some light showers. Could be rain, could be snow, depending on the time of the day. that will be moving through the area as we head into Saturday and Sunday. We'll keep you updated on the any changes to the weekend forecast and the forecast for Thursday on KXLY.com and the 4 News Now YouTube channel. Happy New Year and have a great start to the week.